Hey guys, welcome back to Jules Woodshop and welcome to a free tip Tuesday. So today I'm here, I'm about to spray the underside of a table that I'm working on for a client and I thought this is the perfect opportunity to kind of talk you through a few things to keep in mind when you're finishing a table. Now, I'm spraying, but the same principle does apply if you're either brushing on, wiping on, or even just buffing on. So, let's get into it. The first free tip is when finishing you want to keep your puddle wet and while when you have a big tabletop like this one which is wider than your actual reach of your arm the first impression would be start in the middle work your way out to the edge and then change sides and start from the middle again and work your way out to the edge that makes the most sense because it means that you're comfortable the entire time you're spraying but it's bad practice because by the time you get to this edge, the middle's already started drying, and when you start to put finish over a drying piece of finish, that's when you start to see things like streaks and lines, and then your finish isn't perfect right off and done. So the correct method, or at least the better method, is you start on the edge, you work your way in, once you can't reach anymore, that's when you change, pick up from the middle, and then keep working out towards the edge, which is towards yourself by this stage. Now, while you're doing this at the same time, you're also overlapping each spray layer just a little bit, and that is a wet puddle on a wet puddle, so that's a good practice, because it will dry at the same rate and you won't get streaks, and it also ensures that you get a nice, even coverage. The more you do this, the better you'll get at it, and eventually you will be able to take the finish right off your gun and say it's a finished product. So let's get into it. So the first thing I do is I spray the edges of the table which aren't going to get a very good coverage from the actual spray direction which I'm going, which is along the length of the table. Once the ends of the table have a nice amount of finish on it, I'll start spraying along the table's length making sure that the gun is moving at a consistent speed and also at a consistent height away from the table. You'll notice here that it is always on. I don't let go of the trigger, but instead I just feather it away from the table and then start the next line. I do this because I would rather waste a bit of finish and get a consistent amount of lacquer coming off of the nozzle than risk having a uneven edge from where you see the, the spray starting and stopping. Once it starts to become a bit of a stretch for my arm, I'll change sides of the table and pick up from that wet puddle. If you look closely here, you'll see that I'm overlapping the spray pattern by about 50%. I'm still at the consistent speed and also at the consistent distance, so it means that I'm gonna get a consistent finish. By this stage, you might look across the table and see what looks like a dry spot. Do not touch it up. It will only make things worse. Wait 10 minutes, come back and look at it once you're done spraying and you'll see that it's actually really even and really nice. That's only the case because the other side of the table is starting to flash off already. All right, so there we go, that's straight off the gun. It is perfectly even, there's no streaks or anything like that you get if you let the puddle dry. So that's a really quick tip for you. This is just one coat. We'll get three on the bottom here and then when we flip it over, we'll do four or five on the top. But that's the principle. And as long as you keep using that, your finishes will start coming up better. Thanks for watching.